As you know, I'm not normally joined by Paul Hawkins in the morning. It's usually my lovely co-presenter, Eamon Holmes. But last week, he decided to undergo back surgery. And I'm pleased to say he joins us from the comfort of his home this morning. Hello, my long-lost friend. How are you? Thank you. This time last week, I was lying on a slab in a, in a hospital uh, being operated on. So I'm one week on from the operation. Um, and... I have to say, rumours of my death have been hugely exaggerated, as Mark Twain uh, would say. So uh, I'm one week on. It's early days. And, um, you know, it'll probably be about three weeks, Isabel, before um, they will know if it's been a success or not. Well, talking of grossly exaggerated, I've just been reading on your Instagram, you say how my lovely friend and presenting partner, Isabel, convinced me to go under the knife after this picture was taken. You're blaming me for this. No, that means that your actions convinced me as opposed to you talking me into it. But um, you, my lovely friend, um, after doing a week's broadcasting on the the Queen's uh, funeral, um, and you're so professional and fantastic, and uh, uh, what people won't know was where we were sitting was a bit of an assault course to actually, (laughs) when you do these broadcasts, you've got to climb over... Uh, scaffolding and a bit like, um, you know, it was, you know what it was like when trying to describe it to people, they see the lovely view, but to get to the view um, takes a lot. And it took a lot out of me, I have to say. And then there was, there was us on the last day. And uh, I mean, throughout the week, we've a, we've a wonderful producer, a little pocket rocket uh, called Sarah Sarah. Walken. And uh, yeah, and she was brilliant. And she's half my size and height. And um, she was my crutch, literally. There she is there. She she was my uh, crutch. And it was quite embarrassing. But then on the last day, my lovely dear friend, Isabel, um, had to walk me a fair distance, Isabel. It was a fair distance. Well, it was a fair um, distance, to- but we were up against the crowds. That was the thing. There was a pack of sort of eight people wide, all walking to try and see the royal procession and we were going against the crowd arm in arm and it was it was a long walk see the thing is why i want to do this interview is it could be misconstrued that this was a romantic liaison <laughs> you were literally wrapped, wrapped <laughs> around me and and me and you so but but i want to say and and you're you're one of my dearest friends in life um you, you but you go above and beyond the call of duty i mean there's such a beautiful heart with you and uh, i mean it was humiliating for me you took me through that crowd forever and ever and ever and ever and i stumbled a few times and my leg gave way a few times and after that i was uh, i was very humiliated really and i was uh, i was humbled but i mean you didn't make any issue of it but it was an issue for me so what i did was i somebody was speaking to me and and prior to then I've been living with this injury for 18 months and uh, four times surgeons have said to me, no, it's, there's a 20% risk of this going wrong. We're not going to do it. Let it heal itself. But it wasn't healing itself. And I find a surgeon who uh, felt with neurosurgery, he could uh, pr- make a pretty good attempt on this. And, and he did. That's not the surgeon. That's me. <laughs> that's me. And about, but everywhere you go, that was at Cheltenham Races. It and was. everywhere I go, I've got these, I've got these crutches. And, you know, it just got to the stage, Isabel, where I thought, I want my life back. I want yeah. my life back. And, and yeah. actually talking to you today. Um, so that's where, where you convinced me. You convinced me that day, you know, I've got to I've got to try something. I mean, if it works, it works. If it didn't work, it didn't, it didn't work. So nothing ventured, nothing gained. But this isn't so much about me. This is about people who have lower back injuries and who have chronic pain. I lived with 18 months with chronic pain. I still have got chronic pain. But um, we'll see what happens. Hopefully this will cure it. And the discs on my back, people keep thinking this is about my hips. It's not about my hips. It's about discs, disc degeneration in my lower back and uh, impeding on my sciatic nerve. And my first of all, my right leg, then my left leg. And the surgery hopefully will put this right. But there are so many people, Isabel, who suffer from this and they have to suffer in silence. And do you know where I get angry about this? About furniture designers and car designers and people who, because I'll tell you, when your back goes, you don't appreciate it till it's gone. Mm -hmm. And then every chair is a hurdle. Every sofa is impossible to get out of. If your bottom is lower than your knees, you are in trouble because yeah. you can't raise yourself from that seat. And 
that uh, that is debilitating and it's humiliating as well. And I think you can be stylish and still practical, really, in terms of furniture. And I think if I was a politician, that's the sort of thing I'd legislate for. Because they must, you know, furniture must cause so many back problems. So if you say to me, how did this, I know your next question was probably going to be, Eamon, how did it happen? Um, but <laughs> the thing is, I don't know. The thing is, I don't know. I don't know if I, if it was getting out of bed. The thing is, was it getting out of a car? But it happened. Yeah. And age played a part as well. But um, when it hits, whew, you don't want it. You don't want it. But Eamon, anyone who watches the programme regularly will, will know you well, will know your personality. Anyone who works with you, you're a fantastic broadcaster, the famous Irish broadcaster, no less. But you're not a patient man. And when I called you this week to say, how are you doing? You said, well, I'm not cured. And I think you thought you were going to wake up from the operating table and be dancing on Strictly Come Dancing. Um, you're going to have to wait the course with the recovery. I know you're desperate to get back on the screens on Monday and we fingers crossed, you know, we'll see. But you're going to have to be patient and you're going to have to put in the time. Yeah, um, I suppose so. And what I've got to realise that anyone who goes through an operation like this is it's um, the inflammation in your nerves and your nerves are agitated and there's inflammation in your body. So the pain stays. The surgeon hopefully will have cured the cause of the pain, at least in one leg. Now, I think there may be a, another operation to have. But why I wanted to come on uh, the show today because otherwise you're just a victim of clickbait and, you know, all sorts of stupid stories in magazines and uh, newspapers and things. But, um, you know, this is the situation. You've got to be sort of realistic about it. Uh, and I have to say, I, you know, I'm by no means finished. And by no means, I mean, I want, I've got an appetite for my work. I've got, you know, I want to do things. Um, and, you know, I, I love working with you in the morning. And uh, it's just those, stools, those big stools that we have to climb on to. Is the, wriggling um, around <laughs> on them all morning. Um, but there have been so many messages, Eamon. I mean, we've got three minutes left, but I mean, I could just read emails all morning. Jane's hey, been in touch. Jackie's been in touch. Hey, Roger's hey, been hey, in touch. Hey. He doesn't listen. He doesn't listen. I hope you're not going to drop me for the foreign secretary. I hope you're not going to we cut me short. We would dream of that. We will keep James you know? cleverly waiting for you. Yeah, uh, but in I'm waiting. Yeah. <laughs> He's not there yet. Don't worry. Uh, Wendy, Rachel, all of them sending their best wishes. The newsroom also incredibly concerned. And Clemel Doon and David Meller in the studio yeah. with us this morning. And me, Eamon. And Paul, all oh. here watching, listening to this, all yeah. wanting to say, I know, Claire, you're itching to, to send your love to. I you am, do that on I am, yeah. I am. And I just want to say, Eamon, if there's any more funny things I can get, I'll WhatsApp them to you as I do. And I just <laughs> want to say really good luck. And you might be having a pain in your back, my love, but I'm sure Ruth has got a pain in her neck and that might be you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love her neck. Cool. Actually, I think I'm more than a pain in her neck. But, um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. wonderful that you've been my entertainment secretary. Yes, Mr. Miller, lovely to see you. Yeah, and wonderful that you came through it because it's a brave decision to have a, a back operation. So well done you. Yeah. So you now go from a sad victim of back pain to be the world's worst patient. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, an impatient patient, but, you know, there's a lot of um, uh, physio to do. There's lots of things uh, to do. But listen, I, I hope, I mean, I'm very, I'll be very much on the mend. And as I say, I mean, the country, what was sad was when, when I went on social media to talk about this under the hashtag of chronic pain, there's just so many people. I have at that least hope that there's no the end of the tunnel. Um, it's uh, the people who don't have hope, the people who have got pain and they know that it's not going to go away. Mm -hmm. So there's something, I think, in terms of the country, and if you are suffering from chronic pain, my, my sympathy to you. The thing is about me, you see me there every morning where Paul is, and I'm so happy and smiley. No one would ever have an idea. I work with Isabel. She's constantly laughing. There's never, she never sees me in any grumpy form whatsoever. So I'm just a joy. I'm a joy, a joy. despite my pain. Joy. You Must are a joy. Tablet. None of that is not true. It, it's, it's a fact. And another fact, Eamon, is that the Foreign Secretary is now ready. <laughs> so we're going to say goodbye uh, from one VIP and introduce another. It's been lovely to well, see you. Get well you. soon. You're Good to see you. You're ditching me for James cleverly. Right, okay. Well, look, the idea is hopefully I'll see you guys 
soon um, next Monday. That's the plan. If I don't materialise, you'll know it's all gone horribly wrong. But for the moment, thank you very much. Thank oh, you. We miss you. Nice Lots of love. Second. Look after yourself and be nice to Ruthie. See you Monday. Good to see you, Eamon. Take care, mate. <laughs> Bye. Oh, there we go. Did you see him rolling his eyes at the end? Yeah. Can't we be wish told. him well in we his do. recovery.